इतनी पढ़ाई करना जरूरी है क्या आगे चल के ससुराल वालों को प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है शादी होने के बाद तुम गोवा या कहीं भी जा सकते हो अरे कितनी बड़ी हो गई हो लड़का ढूंढना शुरू करें? उतने पैसे हम तुम्हारे पढ़ाई पे नहीं खर्च कर सकते हमें तुम्हारी शादी के लिए भी तो बचाना है पति को खुश रखना है तो खाना बनाना सीख लो जरा वजन कम करो वरना लड़के मिलना मुश्किल हो जाएंगे प्रमोशन मगर अब तो यू शुड सेटल डाउन स्टॉप स्ट्रेसिंग अबाउट योर जॉब सो मच जस्ट गो गेट मैरिड टू समन रिच ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स आर बॉय फ्रेंड्स यार डोंट यू फील लोनली वाह बड़ी प्यारी लग रही हो अब तो जरूर रिश्ते आएंगे तुम्हारी उम्र में मैं दो बच्चों की माँ थी आई बिन ट्राइंग टू टेल माई मॉम आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गेट मैरिड यू नो डू यू लड़का ढूंढना पति को खुश रखना है शादी होने के बाद सेटल डाउन गो गेट मैरिड Yeah, I think I want to get married. It's time. Hi and welcome to the last final episode of Girls Feed. So um we today are ending with a topic that is difficult for anyone to escape no matter who we are and what we do and what we believe in and who our family is. It's marriage. That M word. <laughs> So where are y'all at? What is your scenes? Who's close to getting married? Who's already married? What are your feelings? I am married, so yeah, that's the only applicable answer. But like, if I'll confess, I uh, married because of logistics. My uh, parents were not letting me uh, have a live-in with my partner, so we thought it's best to sort of, if we want to like. for cohabitation we'll have to sort of live together and the only acceptable way of doing it is if we get married and that didn't seem like such a bad idea <laughs> okay malini <laughs> you've been married for a long time 7 years i mean mm. <laughs> it's been a while and you know what what i realized when i was getting married that um i really wanted the wedding <laughs> more than the marriage mm. and i realized it was so like that was the dream then but i have to say in hindsight i really do enjoy being married but it's completely different than what i thought it would be like and i think that i realized more and more just like you have to work at uh, your job right if you didn't put any effort you'd get fired same thing in marriage oh, yeah. damn it <laughs> very what? easy to lose your job you, there yeah at what part do i stop caring about everything and just like live my best life is that not a thing yeah, yeah when you want to be single again that's <laughs> pretty much okay so these two are married yeah, and what are your single girls thoughts on marriage i am in a live in relationship cool. and marriage is a legal document <laughs> that's all i think of it yeah. that's fair yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Fair. facts yeah. yeah i don't know where i'm at in the marriage thing but like my mom is like you work so much and everything and then i just feel like you're missing out on your best years by not being with someone and i'm like fair but i don't know if that has to equal to marriage but i've fallen for one two schemes and i've gone for one two arrange marriage dates and everything and uh, it's been interesting but uh, yeah i feel like i still have to at some point get married to at least make my parents love me exactly right that it really feels like the <laughs> yeah only reason i feel even in like arrange marriages as you were talking about i don't know like what questions do you ask each other like i think people should ask stuff like how do you like your ac <laughs> or how do you like your coffee <laughs> those are real practical questions that it actually comes down to when it comes to marriage i'm very single yeah and what do you mean yeah <laughs> first of all <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> thought my whole life that uh, the the one pinnacle of achievement would be by age 30 like have one very nice boy locked down and conventional marriage with him and uh, then feminism has happened in my life and books and thinking and independence so now everything's up in the air no longer know if it will happen if i want it to happen cool okay interesting so you're open to it yeah very open and trying to be equally open to not getting married that's where i'm at it still feels like marriage is the way to win life yeah and uh, i'm trying to get used to the idea that maybe it won't happen and i still win life yeah, yeah. yeah. if that checklist is not uh, yeah, checked, yeah 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 then it's fine correct exactly so like 
here we are to solve my personal problems, I guess. Cool. <laughs> cool, yeah, cool. thanks. Cool. Thank cool. you all for coming. That's, I think, a positive answer. Yeah. yeah. We'll take that as a positive answer. It is, it yeah. is. No, she's not averse to the idea. Not at all averse. Yeah. All yeah. marriage applications, please. <laughs> <laughs> we left in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. Before I realized I was queer, I also kind of had that idea that, you know, it was like a checklist thing that yeah. I'm supposed yeah. to get married and I'm supposed to have kids. But I just never understood it. Like, I thought, okay, I'm supposed to do this and I'm going to do it. But uh, I think when I was 16, I realized that I was queer and I was like, that list just went to the just window. Just throw it in the yeah. fire. I was like, it's, it'll happen when it happens. But yeah. unfortunately, right now it has to happen, but it won't. So. Mm. <laughs> and your parents are okay with this checklist not being ticked? Um, I guess, like I came out to them only like two years ago. So they are just coming around to the idea of like me being queer and mm. you know, now I'm openly queer. So mm. they're kind of okay with it. But uh, they don't know that I have a girlfriend, but now they will, I guess. But a uh, <laughs> good time to let them know. Surprise. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So now, um, yeah, I don't know how they feel about that. We'll find out. Yes. <laughs> Do you all have pressures with, by your family and extended? Yeah, so no one ever put any pressure on me till I started living with someone. And my very feminist mother will attend a wedding and come back and say, so like, oh, you guys will get married. <laughs> Up my time, up exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the more that people ask me, that much more I do want to do it because I <laughs> will I solidly gave in to the pressure in many ways. Giving in to that pressure means giving in to a lot of narratives about romance that are very bad for an actual relationship. Yeah. When you give in to that pressure, you choose a pretty relationship where two people feel like they own each other and what they are to each other is each other's like stamp of validity in the yeah, world yeah. Um, and so newly I'm like that pressure because I did it I won it I could have married these exes mm. yeah. uh, and that would have been quite bad <laughs> that would have been a show. I was facing a lot of pressure when I finished college mm. uh, so actually so I was like 20 21 at that point of time and my mom used to say it as a joke she'd be like oh now we'll get you married and then my aunt started saying it and it seemed a little bit more serious. Mm -hmm. So if uh, anybody like, you know, watches this video, they'll know that you cannot talk to me about this anymore. So <laughs> Talk to the government first. <laughs> Make it legal, then we'll talk. For me, the pressure has kind of been more about kids. But even though like my family is very progressive and all, so nobody really come out, comes out and says it. But I went to a wedding once and my mom introduced me. This is my youngest daughter, whatever. She's like, how many children do you have? Mm. And I was like, I don't have children. And my mom, she, to defend me, said she just got married. And I'm like, no, it was seven years ago. Wow. So it's not like we've been trying. And they seem to feel sorry for me when I don't really need that pity. That's how I That's feel about annoying. being unmarried also. Yeah, like, what are you feeling bad? My life is amazing. <laughs> One big reason I want to get married is for the wedding. And Malini said that's why one reason she also got married. It is, I mean, I had three weddings. So I had like a Nikah in Dhaka, I had the court signing and I had a big fat wedding in, in Goa. And I realized that at that age when I was doing it and I was in this excitement, I want to get married. At that age, I just wanted to have a wedding. I yeah. really did. And I didn't know differently because I hadn't even thought about or contemplated any of these things about what will marriage be like. And only after I got married, the penny dropped that Marriage is very different from the wedding. Weddings are a sham, full sham, yeah. and um, the ceremonies could be sexist, and some of them really are. They are, explicitly. And, and the vows, uh, some of them are okay, but some of them are absolutely not acceptable. Also, I feel like every wedding, every religion is so submissive that when I yeah. see a bride, I sort of stop seeing them as a person. Yes. Yeah. It just happens yes. to me. Yes. I'm yeah. not seeing them as as my sister or my friend, uh, I'm just seeing them as someone who has submitted to patriarchy and that is not something I can stand. So I just prefer not to go because okay. I don't want to see my friends like that. Fair. Um, Aren't your friends mad at you? Super. Okay. <laughs> Are you turning 25? Are all your friends getting married? Are you facing pressure from your mom, dad, auntie, uncle, chacha, mommy, daddy and all your relatives to get married? Here's presenting. Sanskari Dawn.
Let's transform you into the hottest commodity on the wedding market. Let's start off with a splash of olive oil. But hey, make sure it's the extra virgin kind. Let's add a fairness cream because obviously your skin color is more important than your personality. Next, you gotta get that perfect, unattainable, sexy hourglass figure. Hey, look at that. You have a master's degree. We don't quite need it anymore. But here is an equation you should definitely keep in mind. The hedge is directly proportional to a happily married life. Nice investments are subject to market risks. Please read the laws of markets carefully before investing. Always remember, your rotis have to be perfectly round. Now, what is a perfect wife without doing unpaid domestic labor by cleaning up after every single person in the household? Now, the only words in your vocab should be yes, sure, okay, absolutely, and the rest. Now, add a generous serving of his career and a sprinkle of your career because his work is obviously more important than yours. Just sift through your combined interests to make absolutely sure that your hobbies, dreams, and ambitions are filtered out as much much as possible. When in doubt, just ask yourself, what would a Barjatiya Bahu do? Okay, now let's turn up the heat by being sanskari in the streets, but slutty in the sheets. Lastly, your eggs are in short supply, so go have a baby. Who cares if you're not ready? And now, our pill can transform you into the perfect Bahu. Hey, random single girl. Yeh lo, sanskari don. Sirf ek sanskari don, aur society se aram. I think one reason why we feel like marriage is on the checklist and is important and the one thing that we've gotten most exposure to is our parents' marriage. I remember when I was a kid, like anything used to happen, something small to my mom, I'd be like, Ma, I'll get some money. You have to get a divorce, you'll run away. And she was like, why? I don't want to, I love him. But I think that generation is different. Our parents yeah. were much more accommodating. Yeah. And I think they, I think it's also part of our generation. I mean, I'm twice everyone's age here, so. But I think that it's really a part of the thing is that we would not be able to make the compromises our parents yeah. did. And that's why, and, and honestly, people were not supposed to live this long. Yeah. Yeah. Marriage is only supposed to last until you were like, 30 and then this it was over, true. yeah. I think our yeah. parents were also socialized to believe that you're supposed to be, like that's the one person that you're, you know, you're gonna be with for the rest of your life. So there's no option. My parents are, were, I think they were like best friends and they just had a baby, so they were married. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I saw them having a very equitable relationship and my mom used to work as a lawyer till late in the night human rights lawyer and my dad was a doctor who was on call 24 hours so wow. I, I was just alone most of the times and I was told very clearly by my mother that we are adults and we make mistakes we like each other right now we wow. might not like yes. each other later yes. wow. and it's our business so <laughs> wow like that it's a bit intense to tell your child but like cool so i think um it, it really like it's a huge privilege yeah. but also they had an intercaste marriage so they were not in the familial setup that's why there were those liberties yeah. right we didn't have to interact with family or that's really important yeah, yeah. I'd like to know for the single girls, what's your fear about getting married? Like, is it that you yeah. think it's going to be disappointing? No. So, I mean, a lot of things we're talking about, like domestic partnership and who does what. Yeah. Marriage originated because humans stopped being hunter-gatherer nomads, realized, oh wait, we don't have to keep moving around, we can stay in one place and keep getting food from this land. Big mistake. <laughs> they started building those houses. Men, the word husband literally comes from a person who tills the soil. Oh. His husbandry. Yes, husbandry, husband. Oh. And they are accumulating more property and wealth than they are going to use in their life. They want someone to leave it to. Uh, so then there's a woman kept in the house. And that woman, the children that she has, are now that man's inheritance. She's property. Yeah. She's his property too, yeah. because her only purpose is to pop one out and keep popping him out till a boy comes out because God forbid a girl will inherit. And this has just been passed down so much and like warped so much and all sorts of cultural has been attached to it. But it gets worse than that because yeah. the reason marriage also happened is that the girl had to go from her father's, being her father's yeah. property to her husband's property exactly. because women could not own property. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. actually you don't need marriage. It was yeah. there for only that reason. Exactly. Yeah. And now, so one big fight in feminism has been for women to be able to own property, own land. Yeah. Now that that's done, I'm like, why do I need this <laughs> actually? Why can't I? And like even sexual monogamy and romance became normalized in the world 
because men needed someone to inherit their property. Otherwise, sexual monogamy is not actually natural, especially to women. Being romantic is a very modern thing. Before that, like we just mentioned, it was all just business deals and alliances. I think that mm -hmm. I like the idea yeah. of, I mean, I'm, you know, as much as I agree, I'm a feminist, all of that, but I like, the, the thing I like about marriage is saying, I love this person and I'm showing my commitment and I know that marriage comes steeped in all of this. Yeah. But it's also this really nice feeling of saying, I've chosen this person, I love this person, so I'm committing myself to them. Yeah. This arranged marriage thing, or just trying to think about whether I should be accepting of it and all, like what are your views on it. But I don't think it's a bad thing. Yeah. And as, as in, there are obviously certain parameters which make it yeah. bad, which yes. obviously happens as well. Also there are levels of privilege. Yeah, exactly, marriage, exactly. Yeah. So, Okay, when does it actually get bad? Yeah. When you don't have a choice yeah. Yeah. or when you're being forced to do it yeah. or when you're supposed to only choose from a pool of people because of the, the same caste as you, yeah. like things yeah. like which that. Is what, which is exactly which is what, what arranged is. marriage yeah. is. And we yeah. can't not say that. <laughs> and because all of arranged marriage is about caste and religion, it it's just it not is. something yeah. I can approve of. Yeah. Yeah. What about, like, for instance, there's this whole concept now of semi-arranged, right? So. I, for, for my opinion is that there are women and men who prefer an arranged marriage. And I don't think that if somebody likes the idea of having an arranged marriage, we should look down upon that. I think there's a if difference. They're, if they have a choice. So I think, see, I've seen a lot of my friends who are doing what they call the semi-arranged, right? That parents are introducing them, but they have that choice. Yeah. Matchmaking is actually damn cool. I think who who is the parents' pool that they're yeah. giving their kids? Are they offering their kids people of different religions, people of different ages, professions? And even even when my parents are making this decision, their end purpose is that I stay in the same class or a higher one, or same keep caste lineage and a higher one. On yeah, that's yeah. literally their purpose. I've actually known people who have actively, you know, they seek people from the same caste. Like if they want to love, fall in love. Yeah. Like I've known people like, okay, you know what? I want to marry someone that I choose, but my parents are never gonna agree. Yeah. So they will only look for people in their caste or their religion and say, okay, you know what? That person's like a better yeah. option yeah. for me right now. So in the example that I'm talking about, it didn't work out because that girl, somebody, some relative was like, you know, went and told, complained to her parents and they just broke off. So like, yeah. It's a very new yeah. thought to yeah. me now when I open a dating app to, resist the urge to check like what job, what college because I'm like actually what I'm looking for is someone who will be kind to me and who will enable my growth and that doesn't have an educational requirement and it doesn't have a financial cutoff, you know. There are some instances where parents who are even accepting of their uh, children's sexuality and if they're queer they still want people from the yes. same caste. That yeah, that was a news, yeah. Yeah, I was like to be very like, honest, there's no continuing of like, I mean, we, you can't, you're not going to make children of the same caste. Like, so that's yeah. not what's going to happen. So, yeah. I don't what know. I mean. Which brings me to, can you all all describe in one line, what is your ideal marriage? I think uh, for me, an ideal marriage would be, like Malini said, a very close friend, a best friend with whom I decide you are my partner with whom I'm building a life. That last name. Like, I am me, you are you, that's been the case forever, that will remain the case. If there are any boys listening to whom that sounded even mildly possible, Instagram. <laughs> so that is my ideal, probably impossible. Ideal, ideal means yeah. maybe not. <laughs> Mine is still very full, uh, full of conditioning. I don't know if romance can last that long, but if it's not, then we'll have like a quiet sweet companionship, <laughs> which I'm like open to divorce. I feel like after your divorce and everyone's like, you're so pathetic that we can't show you any boys. Your Make ideal your marriage aunties. is being a divorcee. I guess. <laughs> so I think my concept of ideal marriage is, so you can do the paperwork, mm -hmm. but you still have to choose to be with each other every yes. day, just like you would if you were not married and you would continue to make that effort. And I think that's what would be ideal. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would, I would second her. Like, yeah. yeah, and also like being comfortable, especially in 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 the scheme of things that I am in currently, uh, being comfortable spending enough time together as and enough time apart. Like, you should be comfortable with that because our lives are changing and like the marriage as a concept is changing and how people live together is changing. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, sexual chemistry. I feel that's really really important. Fluctuating, yeah, but it has to be there. I think uh, in my ideal marriage. Yes, a legal yes, marriage. Again. A legal, <laughs> a legal, a legal one. Government. 
ideally um, yeah to be a friend like a best friend and uh, you're supporting each other and there's a dog involved Oh, 100%. Oh yeah. What an animal. I would like to add this. I want many. Yeah. I live in Bombay. I don't think we can do animals. No. <laughs> Maybe like one of those pink colored chicks. <laughs> animal cruelty. <laughs> I think we all have a lot to think about. Maybe I do. But I still think my divorce plan is a good plan. Thank you for helping uh, try to clear out my brain and hopefully <laughs> people who are watching also and uh, that's a wrap on hopefully season 1 of girls feed maybe there'll be another season i want to thank everyone who came on this panel and all the five panels before this i also want to thank this crew and i hope that season 2 will be even better than season 1 if it's so exciting thank you girls feed हेलो हाँ हरीश भाई हाँ ये आपने फ्रिल्स क्यों लगा दिए ड्रेस में मैंने आपको क्लियरली बोला था सिंपल डिजाइन चाहिए ये पॉपुलर डिजाइन जैसे चमकता भड़कता नहीं चाहिए ठीक है मैं बंटी को भेजती हूँ जल्दी ऑर्डर करके देना सबको सब लास्ट मिनट ही रूवन करना है अच्छा सुन अभी अभी केक वाले का फोन आया था सिर्फ ब्लैक फॉरेस्ट है मामा मैंने उसको एक महीने पहले बोला था मुझे वीगन केक चाहिए वो ही कॉन्ट हैव चॉकलेट अच्छा ब, एक 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 बात सुन अपने फ्रेंड्स को ना अभी भैया नहीं तो बंटी के नंबर दे दे मैंने ऑलरेडी कैब भेज दिया एयरपोर्ट मासी को पिक करने के लिए बस जस्ट कॉल एंड चेक वैशी आई शुड कॉल हर ओके हाय बबू हां कल के लिए रेडी है ना बहुत डांस करना है अरे व्हाट डू मीन यू कॉन्ट कम नो नो डोंट सेंड गिफ्ट्स एंड ऑल बट यू हैव टू कम स्पेशल डे या 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 यू थोड़ी देर के लिए आ जाए यार अच्छा एक मिनट एक मिनट रुक बाहर सब लोग इंतजार कर रहे हैं तेरा हाय तो बोल दे उनको अच्छा लिसन गेस्ट आर हियर आई हैव टू गो सी बट यू हैव टू कम टुमारो हां चल बेटा सो जा हां मम्मा आई एम जस्ट कीपिंग द आउटफिट्स एंड द एक्सेसरीज ऑन द टेबल एंड आई स्लीप बेटा टुमारो इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट डे हां मम्मा बोलने तो दे I'm so happy for you. I'm so glad you made the right choice and he's the correct companion for you. And I know you'll never let me down. We brought you up very well and you've turned out to be a very kind person. Hena. Beta, aa jao bahar. Sab log aa gaye hain.